Nathan over at NW Carbon Designs. I got this piece here that we're carbon copying. I've already uh, took the piece, cut it with the wax, cut it with the coverall, waited for an hour or two, let it dry up, and we mix up the epoxy, mix up your epoxy to whatever uh, instructions are on that epoxy. Brush it on. We laid two layers of carbon on there. And now, pretty simple step right now, is we're just gonna coat it with epoxy. Um, at this point, if you wanna pull it off, you can. It's been 24 hours, so it's pretty much dry. Uh, you can take it off and then actually start another one if you want. Go ahead and pre-treat it with that wax and cover all again, and then let it dry, and then you can actually start it along with this next coating process. So if you're trying to do a whole bunch at a time, you can keep it going. But I'm just doing this one, so I'm just keeping it on there, not popping it off yet. I'm gonna go ahead and coat this again, and we're gonna to try to get a nice smooth finish. Um, you know, after we coat this a couple times, we'll do a little sanding to make sure it's nice and smooth, but we don't wanna do any sanding yet because we don't wanna distort this carbon in any way whatsoever. So what's next, I'm gonna to try to prop it up and we're just gonna record some coating. It's not gonna be any big deal, but we're just gonna get this rolling real quick. Always make sure you use your safety gear. I don't know if you can see that or not. Face mask. And always cover your arms and your pants just in case epoxy gets on you. It's not fun. Just start at the top. Just dab it on there. Let it kind of flow down and just wipe it. You know, you want to get it on as thick as possible. Each epoxy is different, but the best way to get it on thick is to dab it from the top and just kind of barely brush it with the tip of the brush down. I use foam brush because it works really well for me. The bristles fall off the other brushes and get into the work and that's no good at all. So try to stay away from brushes and bristles. Gotta do this side. We're not gonna do this too heavy at all. I actually have a lot of epoxy here because I have a couple other projects I'm gonna be finishing it up. So I'm not actually using all of this. I just uh, have a couple things right over here actually. But we're just doing this. So after we get this coated, we're going to spray it with that acetone. And I'll show you. And like I said, just make sure it's nice and thick. Make sure it coats nice and good. All of your excess is going to go right down on your rim here on this part. And it's going to give you a nice thick coating. The thicker it is, the, the better it feels and the better it looks. So as long as we're doing a part that's not structural, that's going to be holding stuff together, this is all decorative. So the, other, the extra epoxy is just going to make it look better. I think we got it all nice like that and then after you get it like that you're going to see bubbles slowly forming and everything like that like i said some people take a blow gun and they seriously just sit there and they hover over like this it takes forever uh, the best thing to do take some acetone put it in a spray bottle get a good nice mess going and just spray it over the top It, it not only pops the bubbles, but it helps smoothen it out a little bit. The acetone actually uh, evaporates instantly after it touches the surface. But it helps pop all the bubbles and smooth everything out, and it gives it a nice glisten. Now you want to make sure that there's no bubbles or any defects. Like I see one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my air gun, and I'm going to get a piece of thing, and I'm going to get it out.
So you just want to gently dab it. See, it's like a piece of hair or something. So it just comes right off. And then the air gun helps smooth it right over. There you go. And if you're working with the spot too much, you know, I have it here. But if you're working with the spot and it looks like it needs a little more epoxy and you're out, just remember you got a little bit down on the table. You take and dab it back up there. Help smoothing that spot back out. And then it'll help self level itself with the epoxy. Now, this epoxy is a fast cure. So, my epoxy takes about 20 minutes and then you're done messing with it. You can't play with it anymore, it's too dry. You're gonna mess it up. So, pay attention to how much time you got. Turn this off. There we go. All right. Now that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off so I can use this extra epoxy for my other two projects here. And uh, good luck. We'll be on the next video shortly.